I'm sure the smoke came from this direction. There, Kimasabi. What do you think happened, Kimasabi? Maybe outlaw ambush? Well, it could be. A driver probably free horses and get away. There are tracks of Indian ponies. Tato, look. Why you, Taro? Blue Feather not kind of man to break peace treaty. Well, I know. I don't understand it. I wonder why. Say them great warriors, kill many men. But we never see this line of black before, Kimasabi. Fort Stevens not far. We take them there. Tempers are running high at the fort. It might be wiser to turn them over to Indian justice. But if Blue Feather decides to make war. Blue Feather decides to make war. It's better we know about it now. We'll take these two to Blue Feather's camp. Aloha, <laughs> me. Rojo and I said, my dear, that's Shona. Lone Ranger and Tonto, great friends of Paiute Nation, do right to bring renegade barriers here. Indian Council decide on punishment. And there was no thought of war in Blue Feather's heart? Blue Feather, man of peace. Signed paper and blood. No war, masked man. On forehead of brave war Tekas, there was black line. What did it mean, Blue Feather? Call his friends, yet you will not answer. One, two, three moons ago, when Blue Feather signed paper of peace, many Paiute think him wrong. Say him traitor. Say Indian must fight for land. These men form band. Paint black on forehead, black for death, black for war. Who leads these men? Running horse. Your brother? Running horse grow wiser soon. I know how you feel, Chief. Blue Feather protect his red brother, but Blue Feather have many brothers, red, white. Is it fair to protect only one brother at expense of all? Blue Feather talk to Running Horse soon. Time for talk is past. I have spoken. As you wish. It grows late. Tato and I have many miles to ride. Where you go, Masked Man? To the fort, to speak with Colonel Wickstrom. You tell white soldiers about attack on wagon? I will, but I'll tell them too that the Braves will be punished. That Blue Feather is a chief who loves justice. Return soon, masked man. Ben! Ben Murray! Heard you were going back east. Change your mind? No, no, I, uh, I'm just waiting for a wagon train. So much take the idea of striking out on my own. You take any parties out lately, Ben? Uh, Why not? You're still the best guide in the southwest. No more, mister. No more. Come on, Tom. And I tell you, Colonel, I'm getting sick of this waiting. My sister and I have very important business in San Carlos, and we intend to take care of it whether you approve of the trip or not. <laughs> Mr. Walker, this isn't Philadelphia. This is a western frontier. Now, of course, if I could spare a military escort... We I... do not need a military escort, sir. Then you're one of the bravest men I've ever met, or one of the most foolish. Colonel! It's all right, Miss Sally. These men are friends of ours. Welcome back to Fort Stevens, Mr. Tonto. Colonel. 
Good to see you again, Colonel Wickstone. Thank you. These young folks are just out from the east about a week ago. Judd Walker and his sister, Miss Sally. Tonto and the Lone Ranger. How do you do? The Lone Ranger? But I thought you were a legend. I mean, I didn't think you were real. Well, I, I mean, we I... understand this. Well, maybe you'd help us understand. What's supposed to be so terrible about not wanting a military escort? Two reasons, Mr. Walker. In the first place, the territory between here and San Carlos is nearly all desert. And if you've never been alone on the desert before, you don't know how easy it is to become lost. In the second place, the Paiutes are on the warpath again. Colonel, we found a burning wagon. Blue Feather not to blame. Attack made by renegades. Do you talk to him? Yes. He claims it was his brother, but Blue Feather says he can calm him down. Well, who cares if he can or not? What's an occasional redskin anyway? An occasional redskin? All right, Mr. Walker, since you've got your mind made up, and the Colonel can't offer you an escort, Tonto and I'll go along for protection. I don't need protection, and I don't want protection. Can any of you get that through your heads? Colonel, my sister and I are leaving here tomorrow morning at 7 sharp. Good day to you, sir. Come along, Sally. I'm sorry. I understand, this. Your brother not no danger on desert. Oh, I think he does, though he won't admit it. It's just the way he is. You see, Miss Sally, sometimes the braver a man acts, the more unsure he is. Oh, you're quite right. I think I can tell you in confidence. Jed has been looking for a guide on his own. Then maybe him find guide on his own. Sally! I think everything will be all right, Miss. Oh, thank you both very much. Bye. Bye. What do you mean, Walker will find a guide? Why, there hasn't been one guide at this fort for over a month. Yeah, one here now. Who? Ben Murray. Ben Murray? Oh, no. Ben is through. Did you know that Ben went all to pieces after that fragrance last march? Why, there were 18 people killed in that party. He told me himself that he turned tail and ran when the pilots attacked. <laughs> no, so you'll never get Ben to go out again. Well, Colonel, I know it isn't going to be easy. Well, why try? Because it's the only way for Ben to get his courage back. And because Tano and I think he's worth saving. Well, suppose he runs away from the walkers, too. I intend to go alone in the first place. Besides, we'll be in shooting distance. Then you're just going to follow. That's right. Why you two want to stick your necks out is certainly beyond me, but I, I guess you make it a habit of doing that, huh? Well, I can't stop you, and I don't suppose I would if I could. Good luck to you. Thank you, Colonel. Come on, Tonto, we'll try and find Ben. Adios. Well, you're a hard man to find, Ben. Maybe I don't want to be found. We've got a job for you. I'm not interested. How you know that? You're not here yet. All right, what is it? Guide for a party going to San Carlos. Well, now, you're just full of jokes, aren't you? You know, Ben, I thought I knew you. Now I'm not so sure. Why not? I'm a coward. It's simple. There's nothing complicated about that. You're wrong, Ben. Cowardice is the most complicated thing on this earth. Ben, you're not first man to run from fight. I don't care about the others. I'm concerned with me. How long is this going to keep up? What? This self-pity. No, I think you're going too far, mister. You made a mistake last March. You run away. That's all over now. Still running, Ben? No. Well, that's the first of the battles. Coming back to face the truth. Look, you were right when you said you didn't understand me. Mister, I can't take any more wagon trains west. Then there's a boy and girl going to San Carlos tomorrow. They need a guide. They might die if you don't help them. And they'll have to die. All right. Guess we were wrong. Come on, Tonto. Mister. Never mind. Well, Mr. it looks like you made a mistake. Ben would have been here long before this if your talker had done any good. Give him time, Colonel. Yeah, ben needs more than time. Give me Sammy. Howdy. Oh. You Jed Walker? Yes. I, uh, I hear you're headed for San Carlos. That's right. Do you need a guide? Well, yeah, I suppose we could use one. My name's Murray. Ben Murray. Pleased to know you. Murray. Yeah, that's right. Seems I've heard that name somewhere before. Murray. Uh, oh, Sally. I want you to meet our new guy, Mr. Ben Murray. It's my sister. 
It's a pleasure, Miss Walker. Mr. Murray? All right, Murray. Huh? Lead the way. <laughs> yeah. Have them be out of port soon. Come on, fellow. Just a minute. You know, the Spanish have a wonderful phrase for occasions like this, but I can't think Fire of it. Fire your... That's it. Go with God. and that's good. There's a water hole up ahead about a mile and a half. We'll stop there for a bit. Yeah. How far have we come, Mr. Murray? Oh, 50, 60 miles. Hot. It'll get worse. Murray. 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 Still think I've heard that name somewhere before. Oh? Uh -huh. Ben Murray. Ben. Hey, wait a minute. Didn't I read somewhere last spring about a guy who ran away and. You? Was that you, mister? Yeah. Yeah, I reckon it was. Oh, fine. Well, that just makes things dandy. Jan, for heaven's sake. <laughs> the West, the land of the brave. I swear, I don't understand you people. All you have to do to, to, to win this whole new territory is to run a few savages off it. Instead, you run, you hide, you tremble like, like whipped dogs. Yes, please. Mr. Murray, look. What is it? Fired smoke. War talk. Well, now, don't you fret, Ben boy. If there's any trouble, Sally and I will take care of it. You just run along. Walker, you're about the biggest fool I ever did see. Bar none, the biggest. I don't know what you think an engine attack is like, but, mister, you better pray you never find out. Now, let's get going. War signals, Kimisami. Ben's moving on. We'd better stay as close to them as possible. Come on. You'd better take over. Mister, there's no way we can thank you. Uh, forget it, Ben. How do you feel? I'm hanging out. Walker's lost a lot of blood. We'll have to rest for a while before we go on to San Carlos. I know a place about a quarter of a mile from here. Guarded on three sides. We ought to be safe there for a while anyway. Let's go. here for a while. Over there, Tom. Uh. What do the drums mean? Are they going to attack again? No, not yet. 
Not as long as the drums keep beating. It's when they stop. Maybe there's still one way out of here, Kimisami. You mean Blue Feather? Ah, uh, maybe me can get through to him. Maybe him come back here before dawn with Braves. Santo? You'd risk your own life to save us? To save me? You, an Indian? All men are brothers, Mr. Walker. Some have red skin, some have black skin, some have white skin, but we're all brothers. Me go now, Kimisami. Be careful, Tonto. About time for me to take a look out, mister. Everything normal? Seems to be, Ben. Yeah, you get yourself some rest. I'll call you in an hour or so. All right. What did the drums mean? Are they going to attack again? No, not yet. Not as long as the drums keep beating. It's when they stop. It's when they stop. Keep beating. It's when they stop. Well, the final battle, Ben. Never have to fight it again. You saw me. Yes. But you didn't call out. It was a contest within yourself. Nobody else had any business in it. You won, and that's the way it had to be. It's gonna be dawn pretty soon. I wonder if Tano made it. Well, I wonder. Mister? What's wrong? Something's different. The drums have stopped, Jed. Then they'll be attacking soon. I'll help. No, I'll Walker. Help you. No, you stay here with your sister. We'll take care of things. Aren't you afraid? Yeah. Yeah, I'm scared stiff. So am I. <laughs> Funny, I never was able to admit that to myself before. I was too busy hiding it, so I had to talk big. I always knew there was some I couldn't fool. I don't expect you'll understand me, Murray. Only to forgive me. All right. Three heads, but I think I'll live. All renegades now captured, masked man. Blue feather wrong. Tonto right. 
One brother not worth many lives. This is the way it had to be, Blue Shutter. Travelers now safe in Paiute country. No more attacks, no more war, thanks to Masked Friend. And to the great chief of the Paiutes. Well, Ben, you and Jed are all right. Tonto and I'll be riding on. I feel better than I've ever felt in my life, mister. I sure owe you a debt of thanks, mister, for everything. Good luck in San Carlos. Adios. What wonderful men. Do you think we'll ever see them again? Sure we will, if we ever need their help. That's one thing I finally learned, Miss Walker. You can always depend on Tonto and the Lone Ranger. Are you silver? Away! 